Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the series. We're going to just continue off from where we left off last time. All right. Um, I will be... That frigate shipyard's done there. Let's get... The trade port and then a probe droid. I'm going to be scouting out Gravelix Med. And then, if there's too much there, then I'll scout out Bimmel. Whereas, these ones are going to be too difficult to take, especially Dantooine with that Eclipse class there, and then Mutalist with its Superstar Destroyer, and Garador with its... I believe it had decent sized fleet. Speed long... Luckily, our income is pretty decent now, so let's see. What is over Gravelix Med? A decent fleet, mainly a Tektar. Hmm, I think I should probably get more ships before I try to take that on. Let's try to get another ISD or two. Yeah, let's get two more ISDs before we even consider that. Meantime, let's build another probe droid to check out Bimiel. See what's there, see if that's easier than taking on Gravelex, because we got a decent little fleet there. That'll be really annoying to deal with. Yeah, I can do that now. Take out Bimiel and then go to RZ 6113 23. This here just seems to have a couple of venators, which is a little easier to handle. Heavy frigate ship shipyard. Yuzong Vong. Enemy extinct. Force. Okay, we got our fleet here. Let's get a move on. Star Destroyer standing by. Let's bring the ship up. Fleet up to bear here. Now, what are you gonna do? You're also pushing forward. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be in for a standard fight here. I've noticed recently a couple of AI, a couple of times AI will just sit back at their base. I don't know if it's something along the path and breaking if you play too long or something. That's just in my independent games. Because along with this game, along with the this series, I'm also doing a couple of other. Uh, playthroughs just to get myself re-familiarized with the game because I take I take longer breaks from the game, so let's have the bombers hold back. I don't want them getting caught. Except for skip right, you can go in there. I don't care. Let's get these light fighters in there. Get the tie bombers back. Y'all want to just stop? Let's go carry us down. Carrier, rear, cursor raiders. Engage the nearest star cruiser. U bombers hit the Venator. U bombers hit the Dreadnought. U bombers hit the other Dreadnought. And cursor raiders take out that star galleon so they're not getting seen. I can first take out that fireborn. That's an anti-missile ray. This is a problem for a bomber, so no side tender. Attacking. Focus down all these corvettes. Holding for maximum firepower. Stop intercepting our missiles. Vendor is gone. I'll just focus down everything else. Our target priority is the latest pass. That dreadnought. Focus down that one. And let's hit that gunship. Alright, down it goes. Let's Hold pull the first raiders forward. Except you, you can stay put. 
fighters, go ahead and play intercept here. ISD, pull forward, and pick a chip to pull forward. The rest can stay in the rear. Awaiting your command. Bring these ships around so the turbulations are to bear in case the enemy decides to push them. Bombers, go ahead and start targeting the station there. Awaiting your orders. Pressure Raiders keep pushing. RSD-1, just keep carrying on toward until you hit the station. High bombers, follow them in. Alright, uh, let's get this TIE Interceptor to the front. Skip right there. Got the torque base. Torque base is the biggest threat there. Your command, sir. Fall out. Traitors, get rid of them. Coming around. Tie fighters, go ahead and get up in this fight. Properly and bring up the picket ships. Awaiting orders. Cursor Raiders moving forward. Along with the ISD. Bombers. Hit it. Have so the tire interceptors on standby just in case. Commander, they're hitting us. Those bombers. As you can see by the shields dropping their missiles. Especially from capital ships, are very good at bringing down shields. Well, which is why I'm taking out as many corvettes as possible before hitting fleets, because their ability to delete uh, missiles coming in. Nice. No casualties. Just how I like it. Oh, they just pulled in an ISD-2 there. That's a problem. They're building that fleet up. So I am going to build this station up, unless I already did. No, I don't think I did. It's not letting me build a... Golan, either. Mm, concerning. So let's move y'all back over Serpendal, just in case. While the ground forces begin the invasion of Bimiel. Um, it was named after Bimiel, the Imperial Scout who rediscovered it. Huh, didn't even know that. This is a small planet. Alright. Let's get some artillery here. ATDVs. Let's have these army troopers go try to capture us another zone to land at. By. Pull the artillery forward. Yes, Have these ATDPs defend the artillery there. Let's bring this artillery forward to like there, I guess. Let's have you deploy there. Here's the enemy does have some minor vehicles here. Nope, except for that juggernaut. I did not realize that was a full-size juggernaut. I'm gonna need every tie collar I have to hit that. That's not gonna be fun. Really? 
get all my squads here of tie crawlers. That juggernaut's gonna be a problem without them. Go, go, go. Run, HDPs, move forward. wasn't a whole lot. Come on, Tiger Crawlers, engage, engage, engage. Artillery is properly hitting it, luckily. Engaging the infantry there. Don't know why that one auto suicided, but apparently that's the thing. and they can do most jobs, none of them that well. will be a little shorter than normal as I don't have much time to record today. However, I will be picking up the next episode fairly quickly. Um, I'd originally planned to release two episodes a day because of the slowness of capturing planets, but that's just not really working with my schedule, so we're just kind of go with what we have. I'll try to get down on like an actual schedule, but it's usually not my decision. in range of this artillery here. Yep. Standard security troopers. Okay, I don't think we took too many losses, just a tie crawler squadron, I believe. And the infantry. Ah, we also lost an ATDP uh, company as well. Okay, let's get this built up. Any bonuses here? Not really, no. How's he influence. Mediocre. I won't even get any tax bonuses if I put it into this planet, so not really going to bother. I will put in a naval academy, though. Should get some more support from ships. Because I have a feeling this fight is going to be not fun for me. Construction complete. Unit in production. Your so I'm going to get three more enforcer picket ships here to help with defense. Awaiting your command. Reporting in. Awaiting your command. 
Okay, let's link you up. Let's also dispatch a probe droid to RZ after we take on their space fleet. I believe the space battle might be the last bit of this episode, unfortunately, as I am running low on time here. This is going to be a struggle to fight, I believe. Again, apologies for the background noise. People I live with like their dogs a lot, so they have a couple, uh, like four or five of them, so you know. Okay, let's see here. They got a decent pinch of fighters. Luckily, we do as well. Um, how am I gonna do this? I'll probably just have to have the bombers focus on taking out. Oh, they have an interdictor in there too, so even if I want to, I can't retreat. Okay, carriers, you're just gonna hang out in the back. Destroyers, you'll take on the front. Precursor Raiders, you'll take up just behind them. Forge your picket ships, you'll be taking the middle. Venators, just kinda chill where you're at. I need you for your fighter protection, not your turbo lasers. Though so they have the turbo lasers, they're not great. Okay, let's deploy the ties in here. Dispatch all the ties I have to slow the enemy down. For the time being. Go ahead and not face backwards. Alright, bring up the targets as well. Destroyer here. Precursor Raiders engage enemy destroyer there. All turbo laser fire up on him. Bombers, you will be hitting the other one. Skip rays, get in there. Tie terrors, go ahead and victory. Tie defenders, go ahead and get in the primary fight. Destroy our report. Forcers are definitely taking a lot of damage here. Maybe a tender in there, I gotta engage that with the precursor raiders. Stargall the Stargallion frigates, they just slap them in the middle of the fleet to heal them, but luckily with the amount of firepower we're putting out, it didn't seem to make much difference, but I'd rather than not heal back any of that. Um, you just lost your shields, pull back. Ready. Try not to take ex excess Report. casualties if I can. Fire at will. Actual destroyers, move to engage that star interdictor. Looks like they're actually retreating. Ready. Trying to hit their interdictor. The lasers are on top. Come on, boys, take out the engines on it. Take out the engines. Ah, I didn't get away. That is unfortunate. However, that saves me a lot of time dealing with their Golan platform and their shipyard. Okay. Hopefully, their ground forces are lackluster here. Only lost one in force to pick a chip. Uh, unfortunately, it does not appear that they went lackluster. It seems they reinforced it pretty well. well that's not going to be fun to deal with. So let's, first of all, let's train up some more infantry here. Let's go to Debrillion and get some more tanks. And a gunship. And... I think we have just enough time to do the ground battle for the planet. Let's see here. Got our infantry. Tanks here. Doopa doopa doopa. Come on. Uh, the gunship that's provided is pretty good. It's very expensive though. It has a slug thrower, AV blaster cannons. And proton missiles, so it can take out vehicles pretty well. It's slug throwers, all right, and it does go through shields. Uh, it only comes in a squad of one, though, so if you get focused down by, like, a giant swarm of snow speeders, you'll just kind of get dunked on, unfortunately. Um, 
Just wait for that to finish, and judging by the time, I will be able to get just this land battle in, and that'll have to be the end of the episode. So let's get to Gravlix Med and get all of our land forces we can. I need to take one of these infantry to go and garrison Bimil, because I'd rather have both my commanders in the one battle. Dispatch probe droid RZ. I know I won't be able to invade it right now, but might as well. I actually do have an ISD-1 there. Interesting. Okay, let's put you on the ground and get my field commander back. Okay. Uh-oh. So much destroyer fleets to Bimmel. It looks like we might not be able to do the land battle this episode. Tactical battle imminent. Yeah, Dauntless. Unfortunately, my fleet there isn't that strong. It's a starbase, so I'll wait until my fleet arrives. And Let's see here. Depending on how fast we can get the space battle done, we'll determine whether or not we'll be doing that uh, ground invasion or not. I believe it's mainly just a Dauntless, so that shouldn't be much of a threat, but... Yeah, Dauntless, an Assault Frigate. I believe this is a new Republic here. Couple Corellians, Nebulon B. Okay, there's all of our fighters. Let's get them forward. Since the enemy doesn't seem to have as much star cover as we do, I'm just going to straight up send the bombers in immediately. Normally I hold them back, but since the enemy doesn't have much star fighters, I figure I can just throw them in. I'm going to try and retreat. Four spigot chips, go. Reporting. Uh, they might Destroy escape. that launch bay. That's unfortunate. Alright, since that space battle didn't go too long because there wasn't really a battle, I should have enough time here. Let's see. Building get that back built. Get you rebuilt. Bring you overhead so I can get orbital bombardments and bombers. Uh oh. Looks like I just lost that planet. Well, that is unfortunate. So I'll get Gravlix Med under my control at the end of this battle, and then next episode we'll go back and reinvade Bimmel, I guess. Uh, I was not expect. Well, I kind of was expecting them to send ground forces, but I really needed the air support for when it comes to ground invasions, especially since the enemy is going to have their own artillery. So let's get our artillery on the ground. One of the ATDPs. Ready. Let's have the infantry try to cap that point. Let's up where they're at. Walkers, go ahead and assist in capturing that. Other squad of walkers will defend the flank. Pull you up. Ready for combat. Sometimes they rush you the second you get off the transport, is why I set the artillery up right where they deploy frequently. Okay, let's take it there. That should provide plenty of cover. Let's move forward. Let's break for. There it goes. Let's go. Get this artillery about here and deploy it there. Work. Rain four. Imperial troops. Strong troopers. DPs to move up. Planetary shield. We will get our bombing runs and orbital bombardments back. Because they're currently blocking it. Back. Seems 
a packed decent contingent of effective light vehicles. Well, that's a problem. Get these squads of tanks up and get that gunship deployed. Go ahead and stop that infantry, you engage that armor. Alright. Yeah, I lost that artillery, unfortunately. Get that gunship in the sky. What kind of vehicle is this? Mobile command base. Tanks moving here. Gunship. Grant a vehicle. That is an artillery piece. A direct fire artillery piece. That. That can be problematic. So let's drop a bomber on Gunship, unfortunate. Deploy some more tanks and walkers. Crawlers up there, along with this other squad of ATDPs. Bring it down. DBs, I saw a squad going this way. Go ahead and follow them. Have the tie crawlers deal with what's left of the base. That's okay, just anti infantry turn. I thought it was an anti vehicle turn. I was like, no, oh, that's the problem. Luckily, not. There goes the turret. Oh, 
Hello, tank. turrets. There's some infantry. Nice shot. Let's see out of those guys. Okay, now there should just be some stragglers around somewhere. Some vehicles. Wasn't expecting any of those. Maybe those Tide Bombers get there in time, maybe they won't. Yeah, I think they only killed one of them. Hmm, running out of tanks. For you, because I believe he comes with some incinerator squadrons. This is cutting it down to the wire. Can I get one more shell before the sensor disappears? I don't think it killed it. Here he is with his two incinerator squadrons. Kind of out of reinforcements, so I'm going to go and try to capture that vehicle factory. To capture that, I can at least have some more vehicles to finish off enemy vehicles. Let's move out. Capture this. Kind of cutting it down to the wire here, but as the enemy's dragging it out. M91 militaries. There we go. Okay. So, our losses were pretty bad for this planet. Kind of got half ambushed and died. Some credit income on this planet, so I'm going to build that up. But other than that, I'm down to the wire, so I'm going to head, head out now. Uh, the next episode should come up in the next couple of days, maybe a little later. I have some stuff going on in reality right now, that's why I'm having to go now, so... Uh, that'll be it, and I hope you all have a good day.